If elected, what would you do to help continue to promote job growth and grow Florida's economy? I think one of the biggest things that we can do is when we make decisions for, you know, that, that help businesses, then we need to go back home and tell folks why we did it and, and uh, just, you know, advocate for business and tell them why it's important for us to do that so that businesses can create jobs and, and grow our economy. How would you improve Florida's health care situation? You know, the health care question is, is just is multifaceted, and so I think it's more than just saying, oh, we're going to do one thing or the other. I think, you know, we've got to look at our supply of doctors and nurses. We've got to find a way to make sure that businesses are not bearing the brunt of, of uninsured folks. We've got to make sure our hospitals are not doing that. And so I think it's, it's a multifaceted uh, perspective. Uh, I th it's just something that, we, it's something that we need to work on over the next couple of years uh, to really come up with a, a long-term solution. What challenges do you see in Florida's K-12 education system? And if elected, what would you do to address those challenges? You know, I think one of the things is uh, we need to make sure that, that parents have a choice where they send their children and, you know, also so I'm maybe expand, you know, expand the voucher program, uh, maybe dollars follow the child to the school, do some of those types of things. I think we need to make sure that our, our children are ready for real world uh, issues when they come up versus just always, you know, concentrating on you know, math and those kinds of things, but also say this is how you're going to use it in the real world so that we can prepare our next generation of entrepreneurs, our next generation of, of business people. Stan McLean, uh, Florida House District 23, stanmcclain.com.